In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Great View Control along with Details View Control in Visual Studio 2010. So let's start Visual Studio. Let's create new website by going to File, New, Website, and select ASP.NET website. And click OK. Let's add a grid view and detail view control to our pages. First, we will add grid view. configure data source for it select database ok select my database click next Here is the connection string name. Click next. I'll select all my fields from the jokes table. And click next. I'll test a query. Click finish to end the wizard. I'll enable paging and enable selection. And auto format to change its look. Go for classic. Okay, and now it should its columns. I'll remove the description and add edit columns. And move the select column down and click OK to finish. So here's our grid view. Now let's add details view to the page. And we'll configure its data source. New data source. Select database and click OK. I'll use the same connection string as I used for the previous data source click next all the fields are selected by default in the jokes table click the where class in the column select id and the source is control which in our case is grid view control I'll click add ok the advance button check the generate insert update and delete statements click ok click next test query finish Let's go to format it. Change its look. Click OK. View it in browser.
so as we move around and select details view shows all the records the record that we have selected in the gateway that's how to use the details view and grid view in combination